Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Today was Madaraka Day and William Ruto has come out to shed light towards his expectation, towards whatever is going to happen with the financial bill of 2023. In this video, I want us to discuss Raila Amolo Odinga's ultimatum where he has come out to give William Ruto ultimatum to drop contentious finance bill 2023. And this is Raila Odinga telling William Ruto that until Monday morning, he will not to tolerate this kind of finance financial bill of 2023. So I want us to have a candid discussion towards the possibility of Raila Murodinga having grounds to trap William Ruto's government as Raila has come out to divert his attention or rather Kenyans' attention to the real situation that is affecting Kenyans when it comes to this finance bill 2023. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a fundraising to support Nudin Salash, who is going to take a kidney transplant at Medihill Hospital Parklands, Nairobi County. After reaching out this channel, and of course he is among the supporters of this channel, he is requesting with humble heart, if you can support him, raise 1 million Kenya shillings. After he has come out to raise 1 million Kenya shillings plus NHF. So he is coming out to request you with a humble heart. If you are willing to support um, uh, the, the, the expense, you can do the way I'm displaying the number below the screen. So I'm requesting with a humble heart that what you have, you can support Nurdin Salaj as we are expecting that is going to take kidney transplant at Medhill Hospital. Now, thank you so much. Have you asked yourself simple question? that since this financial bill of 2023 hit the ground, Raila Odinga's Azimio team has always been castigating this financial bill of 2023. When I was just looking at the way Raila Odinga is bringing several issues and also their discussions, is that I have realized Raila Odinga is having several grounds on how to handle this government. And in, fa in fact, for all the opposition kind of politics that Raila Odinga has played since he started politics across the Republic of Kenya, this is the only regime that is giving Raila Odinga um, various issues and grounds on how to squeeze them on a certain corner. As Raila Odinga has come out to give William Ruto until Monday as an ultimatum to drop a contentious finance bill 2023, Raila Odinga and his team has come out to accuse William Ruto for forcing Kenyans towards punitive taxes unto Kenyans. As there is now the grounds that Raila Odinga has captured towards squeezing William Ruto to a very tight corner, Raila Odinga has come out to tell Kenya Kwanzaa administration to withdraw the contentious finance bill 2023. So he has come out to warn of unspecified consequences if the finance bill was not going to be drawn by Monday, June 5th. So according to my attention, I have realized that Raila Odinga is seriously pushing a narrative against William Ruto's finance bill 2023. As he has come out to claim, there are several issues that William Ruto must address. If he will not address this, 
then this bill is not good for Kenyans. You must come out to review it, actualize some parts of the um, of the, 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 the bill, or else there are several consequences that are waiting William Ruto. What are these consequences? One, mana manu. If Raila Odinga on Monday will come out to announce mass action to start either on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or maybe next week, are you seeing a scenario where Kenyans are warming up? In fact, they're just waiting on that person that is going to announce any mandamano or mass action. Then it means they are ready to take head on William Ruto towards this bill of 2023. Speaking at Jaramogi Oding, Oging Odinga Foundation headquarters in Nairobi, Raila Odinga asked Ruto to listen to the voices of Kenyans opposed to the bill. Not a threat for him to come out to tell Kenyans that this bill is going to pass no matter what. So Raila Odinga has come to say that he has experience in running government, he, uh, rubbishing William Ruto's finance bill by saying that enough is enough. We shall blow, blow the trumpet. We will tell you what to do. That day is coming, said Raila Odinga yesterday. He has come out also to accuse the government of seeking imposed and due taxes on suffering Kenyans. As this is just now a big and huge problem that Kenyans are passing through. As he continued to hit out at Ruto's administration over the high number of unfulfilled promises of to Kenyans, this is whatever Raila Odinga is saying. The Kenya Kwanzaa administration made million promises to the people. None of those promises has been implemented and there's no indication that they will execute them. That is what Raila Odinga said yesterday. Threats by Raila Odinga, let me call them threats by Raila Odinga, came after. William Ruto insisted that the proposed housing levy and the finance bill 2023 are well planned out. <coughs> that is what William Ruto is, is insisting that that is whatever is going to happen. And of course, the other day, speaking in Busia, William Ruto said he was not gazing on the proposals to deduct salaries and introduction of the finance bill that in the long run will help, will help Kenyans during his visit in Busia. So, um, this is whatever William Ruto is saying. It is time for the people of Busia to feel part of this government. In the budget, I'm not lunatic or drunkard. This budget is planned out well. I promise to help people at the bottom of the economy pyramid. That is whatever William Ruto said in Busia. Again, in a video on NTV, William Ruto said his plan will not come to fruition if people at the lower part of the pyramid pyramid are jobless <coughs> and this plan will provide jobs for them that is what he said and this is the simplified statement that William Ruto said you cannot impact people at the bottom of the pyramid without creating jobs for them we have laid out plans to provide digital skills for the youth so that they can work anywhere that is what William Ruto came out explaining to the people. But as much as we also expect more <coughs> to come and also the tsunami announcement of the Azimio, we are waiting them what they are going to say on Monday, which according to me I know, William Ruto is not going to pull down that finance bill. They are succeeding with it. So you want to tell me after Raila Odinga, <coughs> Raila Odinga's team came out suspending the bipartisan talk. Are you seeing a scenario where 
Raila Odinga has the grounds to call the mass action. What happens? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, bye-bye.